hello guys and welcome back to another video in this video we'll be seeing about uh, PyQt5 framework for creating GUIs in Python so previously we have learned about uh, how Kinter works and, and have created basic applications in Kinter but when it comes to Kinter it is not that robust and uh, cannot be used for large-scale applications so for that you have another choice in Python that is PyQt4 or 5 based on your preference which you choose the latest one is uh, PyQt5 so uh, in this video I'll be showing you how the basic PyQt5 works basics of how PyQt5 works and a tool uh, used in PyQt5 which uh, can be used for creating GUIs very easily which you don't have in Kinder uh, that is a PyQt5 designer so as you can see over here this is application uh, so let's begin so double clicking on PyQt5 application uh, this will be a default window coming at the startup and just create one so when it comes to uh, installation of PyQt5 uh, you need to uh, initially install it via pip that is I'll just show you the command uh, later on but I'll just brief you about the PyQt5 designer first so this is the interface basic this is a basic window you can see you can resize it based on your preference and um, these are the widgets over here as you can see these are all widgets so it acts like a NetBeans where Java provides a functionality of drag and drop for creating swing applications so so this is the basic of window you can resize it and you can configure every settings over here these are the configurations of that window so let's just create a simple form or something like as a registration form so this is the button to uh, let's create okay just put it over here and uh, let's use some labels label 1 label 2 label 3 so uh, this is a basic format these are the labels and these are so over here you can in the object inspector uh, you can see that um, object of that particular widget is mentioned over here that is label 1 um, label 2 and label 3 and for this button push button 1 that is this that is this uh, push button and the second one is if you click on to that button you will know it will just direct you to that object so this is for push button 2 so this are um, the widgets and let's just use some text field this is that is a line edit for entry field you can call it as 2 and three so for every widget which you use over here you can configure based upon your preferences for example if you uh, want to change the font of this label or you want to change something uh, in the size or color or etc everything you uh, can access it over here so for example uh, I want to change the font of this label so this is the option over here click over here and I'll just change it to Calibri and uh, bold italic increase the font just for showing you people that how it works so you can see the uh, text has been changed so any configurations uh, any configurations you need to um, make a change in the widgets which you use in PyQt designer you can directly configure it from over here 
this side the right side of the win main window and if you want to know about the objects like uh, for example a variable which we use uh, in kinter or uh, or as an, an as an object you can just see it over here for example for this text label the object is label for this push button the object is push button so let me just save this and uh, demo so the extension of this file will be a u dot ui so i'll just explain you how it works actually save so this is not this is just a rough uh, idea i'm giving you that how you can make a gui in pyqt find designer and let's just see how you can run it i'll just so this is the output what you get these are the labels these are the widgets entry widgets so you can run it from here too or just press Control r you can just run it from here or you can just press it Control r don't it doesn't matter i just forgot the option over here but you can just press uh, Control plus r so you will get this output after saving the file so this is a basic outlook of pyqt file designer So you just don't have to code from scratch and you just don't uh, need to worry about how to uh, make a gui from scratch it is pretty simple in this so use this by qtify designer so uh, when it comes to installation of uh, pyqt5 so i'll just close this i'll open a file which i've already created so this uh, the the file which we saved in right now is a demo.ui so this is the interface or a window and we saved it in this format demo.ui so this is the uh, file with this extension so i've already made one that is this registration.ui with ui extension and there is there is a py.py file too so for the installation i'll just tell you on uh, this this is how you can uh, install the pip install pyqt designer so for designer it doesn't comes with uh, the pre-built pyqt file you need to install it via this command so this is the command for installation installing the pyqt file designer and for pyqt you just need to uh, uh, type in pip install pyqt uh, 5 t5 you can google it you will get it over there too so this these are two instruct instructions basic instructions you need to uh, be ready with it for um, making guis with pyqt 5 and with the design as well so these are the instructions so after install after after the installation process uh, I'll just show you the path from where you can find this so properties open file location so this is the path programs python lib site packages by qt qt and bin so this is the application which which you get over here so just import it to send it to the desktop and you'll just get it over here so it it is a bit of hassle but once you get it over to the desktop it is pretty easy so i've done the same thing i've done it i've just brought it to the desktop so it is pretty easy to after after it so i'll just cancel it and i'll just show you how the gui which i've created so this is the ui file which i've already created and I'll just show you by opening this so I'll just cancel this and I'll click on to the option open and uh, 
and this is the file which I've already created that is a registration form dot UI extension open it so this is what you get a simple registration form with name age city gender and the programming languages you know with a button right so as I've told you earlier uh, this is the button with the object name push button so whenever you use this button for calling some function or printing something or um, performing certain kind of actions you need to call this push button method so for every widget you have an attribute or an object over here you can see object inspector so you need to mention this whenever you use it within a program so this is the interface control r so you can also create menus over there directly I, I, I just forgot that to show but you just uh, you can create menus too over there so this is how you can create a basic so registration form so now uh, I'll just minimize this and show you the functionality which I've provided so yeah so this is the code so over, you, over here you can see that I've used uh, this method called rec.ui right I've just not converted that UI file into py file dot py right so there is one uh, command so just open the command prompt and you can py, uh, type py uic phi what is the file name that is double one double g dot ui then this with dot py so this is the command for converting that ui file into um, dot py file so you can see a py file has been created so in this file you can see the entire code of that ui uh, file which we have created in the designer as you can see label one radio buttons main the entire code you can see it, see it over here and you can perform um, backend functionalities by clicking uh, event handling and everything over here by uh, writing your code at the bottom in the same file but uh, the the thing which I prefer is uh, more like uh, creating another pi file which I've already done over here so this is it so if you want to directly call uh, the dot uh, ui extension you can do it like this so from create a dot uh, pi file and um, uh, from pyqt import qt widgets comma uic so as this is a command which i've used to convert the dot ui file to dot py file so you just need to call it over here or import it and um so what i'm doing over here is that i want uh, to provide a functionality that whatever so let me just run this so this is the main window so whatever i type over here in these widgets when i click this sign up button i want to print it into the console so i want the output to be printed over here right so this is the function so i'll just explain you what is this how i've i have uh, loaded the the dot ui file in this uh, particular dot uh, python file so this is the basic format you need to uh, perform that is uh, create a variable app dot uh, widgets dot applications this is the format is a one line code and um, create a variable call anything as per your preference uic dot load ui and the file which you have saved saved as a ui file right 
so this is the file this is a file which i'm calling over here which is situated over here as well right and and this is the function to just call the window or to execute the window right these are the two come on uh, to line code to call just call the window right so now to provide functionality this call uh, method is been used everywhere so in this these are the variables which have taken to perform that following procedure so as you can see over here so line edit to line edit are the entry widgets so entry line widgets or entry box and these are the check box radio buttons etc so as you can see i'll just show you over here so so I'll, when i when i click over here so this is the object line edit for the name age line edit 2 for city line edit 3 for push button there is a single button this is the object or a variable and for radio button radio button 2 etc right so whatever whenever i use those widgets i uh, type this kind of method so call this uh, this is the variable from which i am calling the ui file so call dot the widget name or the object dot text so this is uh, something like get text method so here from this method you are performing a get text operation and i'm storing it into a variable uh, v, uh, v2 v3 v1 uh, it depends on you based on your choice so this are the print method and for the push button operation so same as this call dot the push button the object or the variable for the button dot click dot connect so it, it is like a binding so whenever you click that button this particular print method will uh, execute it so this is the print function which uh, in which we are taking uh, every input from the user and printing it into the console so this is the print function and i'll just execute it and show you the output so i'll just type in okay age 20 city is sorry nyc mail and python so when as i'll click the button you can see it is performing a get text operation from this entry widgets right so okay age is 20 your city is nyc and the language and the gender is male so this is basic overview how you can um, build a uh, gui using the pyqtify designer and uh, how you can create a more robust application uh, when it's compared to the Kinter framework in Python. So using this particular uh, framework that is PyQtify, you can build large applications very easily and very quickly by using the PyQtify designer. So, so this was it for this video, guys. It was a short demo, not kind of a tutorial, but a short showcasing that how you can perform basic operations uh, or making GUIs more robust in PyQtify framework and how you can use the PyQtify designer to create more fast applications so in the next video will uh, I'll be showing you a small application which I've already created which I'll explain you um, uh, basically it is a uh, application that uh, stores the uh, student information in into a table so it is um, basically a 
connected via a database and it will take several information and etc so it is for the next uh, video so stay tuned for that video guys and if you have any questions queries and concerns regarding this video you can comment down below and uh, thank you